A story you'll see only on seven kids planning to sue the governor. One lawyer says he is stepping up to uh, represent all 46,000 kids in Detroit public schools in a class action lawsuit. Seven Action News reporter Kim Russell has an exclusive interview with a retired lawyer behind this suit. A retired lawyer says he's going back to work. His goal, suing the state and Detroit public school leaders for failing to educate kids. It brings tears to my eyes when I sit down and I read my own complaint that I've drafted. Tom Blakely is a retired trial lawyer, but he's preparing to fight for Detroit public schools' kids. Children can't learn when they have to wear coats and it's 45 degrees in the classroom and there are dead rats lying in the hallway. Blakely says the school conditions we exposed and academic results are unacceptable. 97% of DPS graduates are not college ready or career ready based on minimal state guidelines. He aims to fix it with a class action lawsuit to be filed tomorrow in federal court. It accuses the governor and others of violating the civil rights of kids who have a right under the Michigan Constitution to a quote, adequate education. And they're getting the short end of the stick. Simple as that. And we intend to compensate them for that. He says there is a theory that some state leaders want poor academic performance, that it would fuel arguments for privatizing Detroit public schools. Some say legislation proposed by House Republicans that would allow uncertified teachers only in Detroit is evidence of the alleged behind-the-scenes plan. It's led by the charter school people who don't want certified teachers, who don't want trained teachers because they don't have to pay them as much money. Plus, the suit says the governor is responsible for taking away local control, forcing the district under the absolute power of emergency manager after emergency manager. Blakely says he sees it as a way to take away the voting rights of poor minority communities. He says people have talked about the impact in Flint. Now it's time to talk about Detroit. I would characterize what has happened with the Detroit public schools as the Flint water crisis in steroids. As for what the governor's office and the school district have to say, they don't comment on pending litigation. In Detroit, Kim Russell, 7 Action News.